yes. We received the sarcophagus, and it is currently being processed for display. I'm sorry. You cannot see the sarcophagus even if the Croconomicon is within it. It's extremely fragile. We can't have the general public rummaging through the museum. Go talk to Mayor Pimsbury at Digmoor Station. Only he can make exceptions. Watcha! Hey, friends! Name's Babbage Bat, and I'm offering a new kind of magic to the spiral. Is your castle drab and dull? Furniture just sit there? Your outfit proclaims your power, wizard. Your castle should as well. Make your castle come to life with castle magic! It's easy. Just put the castle magic spells into magical items and watch what happens. Let's pop over to your castle. I'll show you how to make a statue appear and disappear using a magical lever. Hello, young wizard. Nice seeing you again. Are you liking Marleybone? I dropped them beetles off at the conservatory. Now I'm looking for ten stray cats. I seen them running around everywhere. Bet I could find them a nice home. If you could chase them down and fetch them for me, I'd pay you handsomely for your help. Hello. Let us go inside the telegraph box, and I'll explain this pressing business. I know the sign on the box says it's smaller on the inside, but that's a cunning ruse. Hello there. How can I help you? Ah, you seek the Croconomicon. I assure you, the safest place for it in all of Marlebone is in the museum itself. The museum is protected from most magic, but I cannot say the same for the streets. We're struggling with a gang uprising, you see. I dare not let anything out of the museum until the streets have returned to normal. But perhaps if you were to help with that problem... Sherlock Bones is investigating the O'Leary gang. He's working with the Yard, coordinating efforts from the air station. Speak with him, then we will see about your croconomicon. Well, hello there, young wizard. I hope you're enjoying your time here in Marleybone, despite the chaos. A lot has been going on lately throughout the city. With all the commotion, I'm starting to feel ill. Can you go to Hugh Warner, the hat shopkeeper, and see if he can mix up something to make me feel better? I heard that there were emergency supplies in the post office that need to go to the troops. They need to be delivered to a dangerous area, so we would prefer an experienced person to deliver them. The post office is located near the fountain in the center of Regent Square. Good luck, young wizard. No need to explain. 
It's elementary. You've come from Wizard City, and the mayor sent you to help investigate the O'Leary gang. Let's begin at once. Something's afoot in our fair city, and I've deduced the O'Learys are behind it, perhaps working for a far more sinister and hidden enemy. We must leave no stone unturned. I've had occasion to work with one called Ms. Conrail. Seek her out in Hyde Park and learn what you may. Thank you, young wizard, for speaking with me. The O'Learys have wreaked havoc on our poor community garden. They've been digging through it and running off with the flowers. If you would be so kind, could you bring them back to me? I would be ever so grateful. Boone sent you, has he? Even a great detective needs a hand now and then, eh? Oh, I'm nothing special. I just keep an eye on the neighborhood. That's how I learned an O'Leary is willing to part with some inside information. I've arranged a meeting with Baxter, but he's afraid the other O'Learys will catch on. A wizard like you should put him at ease. Meet Baxter at the greenhouse near the fountains. He should give the goods on whatever those O'Learys are after.
ambush? The O'Learys must be getting wise to us. Imagine if I had gone to meet Baxter. Good thing you were there. Let's find Baxter before the O'Learys do. A little birdie told me the location of a few of his hideouts. Go look for him in each safe house. Be careful, love. You're not Baxter. You'll regret meeting me, you will. Thank <laughs> you. 